Chapter 26, Problem Number 17 Light in a vacuum is incident on a transparent glass slab. The angle of incidence is 35 degrees. The slab is then immersed in a pool of liquid. When the angle of incidence for the light striking the slab is 20.3 degrees, the angle of refraction for the light entering the slab is the same as when the slab was in the vacuum. What is the index of refraction of the liquid? So for this equation, we are dealing with Snell's law right here and it is n1 n1 or times sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 and basically what this law states or the theory behind it is that when light travels from a material with the refractive index um, represented by um, n and into a material with another refractive index or n2 um, the refracted ray the incident ray and the normal to the interface between the materials all lie on the same plane. And so when an incident ray doesn't strike an interface at a normal, this right here is the normal, so when the incident ray strikes it at an angle, the transmitted ray enters the medium and changes direction, or the ray is refracted. So when it doesn't hit it at the normal, it creates the angle of incidence right here, theta i, and the um, when it leaves the medium it changes direction and it makes the theta r or the angle of refraction right here. Um, and so this problem deals with the same slab uh, but it is in two different scenarios. So the first scenario the slab is in a vacuum and the second scenario the slab is in a liquid. Um, each scenario we are told the angle of incidence is refracted and we are also told that the angle of refraction for both scenarios are equal to one another. Therefore, we can write two equations and set them equal to one another because we know that the refractive index um, in air or in the vacuum is equal to 1 and we are given two angles of incidence and therefore we can find the one unknown or the refractive index of the liquid or N2. And so basically, just rewriting Snell's law that I wrote down earlier, we have the refractive, or we have the index for uh, the water, or the air right here, excuse me, multiplied by the sine of the angle of incidence is equal to N2, or the index uh, for the liquid times sine um, the angle of incidence for the liquid. And so from here, all we have to do is just plug in the values, and then we find the value for N2, and it is equal to 1.65.